Hello and a warm welcome to everyone uh, and thank you for joining us Harbin & Co Investor Forum. My name is Keith Hiscock and I'm the Chief Executive of Harbin & Co. These forums give investors the chance to hear a company's investment case and then question the management. I think there's a perception that there's thousands and thousands of drugs approved. The reality is that since 1990, in the 40 years, there have only been 980 drug uh, new chemical entities approved by the FDA. From an investment standpoint, what are the opportunities? What are the risks? On the risk side, nothing much has changed. Uh, it still takes a long time to develop a new drug. These numbers equate to only one new drug per major company per annum. Yeah, the skin cancer rates are just going up and up and up, and quite scarily so. It's gone up 45% in the last 10 years, the fifth most common cancer in young adults. We're looking to commercialise our products as quickly as possible, start generating revenue, and starting to get that back in the company to, to make us self-sufficient. You know, back in the earlier spring, in uh, March, earlier this year, the company went ahead and raised uh, just under 40 million US dollars. If you had the choice between a company with a good balance sheet and a company with a good drug, which would you go for? 